Hi everybody. I want to share with you a topic today called Jesus Gives Us Moral Clarity. Um, when I was 16 years old, I often asked this question. What is right and wrong? And what is good and evil? More importantly, who determines what is right and wrong? And who defines good and evil? Is it your parents? Your teachers? Even your government? I was at a point in my life where I wanted to do things that were labeled wrong in the eyes of certain people, but right in the eyes of others. For example, I wanted to party really hard. I wanted to kick back from school. I wanted to get drunk and sleep around. I mean, besides, a lot of my friends were doing it, so what's the harm? And who told me it was wrong in the first place? I would reason that there is no absolute right or wrong. And if human beings are like the school teachers, children of evolution, then we are just animals. We're just sophisticated cockroaches and monkeys. You know, in the animal kingdom, there is no right and wrong. There is only survival of the fittest. For example, if a lion hunts down a zebra and tears its head off and eats it, we would just say, wow, it sucks to be a zebra. We wouldn't say, oh, Look at those lions, they're so immoral and evil and they commit murder on a daily basis. And it would be ridiculous to set up laws for lions to operate under. And if we're just products of evolution, then you can't accuse me of doing evil. And I can't accuse you of doing wrong because we can define our own standards of right and wrong. And if I feel like sleeping around with 10 different people, I can. Or if I want to abort my unborn child, I can. Or if I feel like stealing clothes in the mall, I can. Or if I, I feel like shooting random people on the streets with a machine gun, I can. And all you can say is, wow, it sucks to be the victim. As you can imagine, this world would be in chaos without laws and regulations. But the question is, who can set up moral standards? Who has the right and the authority to do such a thing? And I wrestle with that question for the longest time. And my answer is, the, you know, the, the answer I found was, only the creator of heaven and earth has the power and authority to say what is right and wrong, and what is good and evil not your parents, nor your teacher, nor your government. I mean, imagine if you lived in the time of World War II and your parents and teachers said that it's okay to kill a Jew. What would you think? You would probably go with the flow because you didn't have a higher standard of right and wrong. Do you know what I mean? I, I hope you get my point. In the Bible, Jesus tells us what is right and wrong and what is good and evil. Jesus gives us moral clarity, which is so awesome. You know, if I do wrong, I would know it. And I have the privilege to repent of my sins. And then I walk forward. Some people do wrong with a guiltless conscience. They don't feel bad about it and they don't care that, it, that it's wrong. And I really feel sad for those people because one day they'll, they'll stand in front of God and give an account for all the things that they've done. And my prayer is that everyone watching this will make a decision to follow Jesus and obey His teachings. And I guarantee it will be the best decision that you will ever make in your life.